Eelmisel nädalal viibisime siin samas klubis Tapper, sel nädalal oleme jälle tagasi ja täna õhtul astub siin peaesinejana üles, no ütleme, et oma valdkonnas üks kõvemaid legenda üldse, Sepultura ja meil on kõrval Sepultura laulajat Derek Green. So hi Derek, uh, 30 years of Sepultura, uh, how's life been treating you? It's been great, um, it's been incredible doing this tour all around the world. Um, such a variety of songs and history that Sepultura has had. Um, I've been in the band now for almost 19 years and uh, it's been an incredible journey. You know, it's been a real privilege and honor to be able to perform all these songs, you know, through the whole history of Sepultura in so many different places. Well, yeah, Max Cavalera was the singer before you and uh, when you came along, uh, you actually sang the old songs as well, but how much uh, have you changed the the sound of Sepultura over the years in your mind? Well, I think there's always been a, a difference, of course. Um, that was one of the reasons that they wanted to try to find somebody um, when it was Igor and uh, Paolo and, and Andres. They were looking for a singer that didn't sound like the previous singer. So it was always something in their mind to have somebody that had their own personality. So I think it's changed naturally, you know, being with the guys um, and now having, you know, the different lineup changes that we've had. Um, we've been able to maintain, you know, um, something that's really uh, respectable that we really enjoy doing. And I think people can see that um, we play with a lot of intensity. And, um, you know, it's like all those guys, Paulo and Andreas, um, even Negro is in and Jean de la Bella and Eloy, they all contributed to Sepultura, you know, they came into Sepultura and they wrote, you know, for that reason, you know, to really represent the band. And I think all those representations are, are extremely uh, wonderful, you know, and to really, to, to not putting anything down or anything negative, but just really to keep, you know, the spirit going very positively. So I think there's been a lot of natural changes just from my own personality. I came from a punk and hardcore background. So I think those elements were added to the group. And um, I think the mixture of just being on the road, I live in Brazil. Um, I've been living there for almost 17 years. I think that has an impact on the music as well, understanding the culture uh, in Brazil a little bit more and, and having that a part of the music. Well, you're from the U.S. How hard was it to uh, to go over to Brazil and start living there? It was hard. <laughs> it's difficult to go, I think, anywhere new with a different language, different culture that you've never been before, no family, no friends. Um, it can be difficult, you know. But for me, as a very young child, I knew that I wanted to live outside the U.S. Um, I have no problem with making new friends and opening my mind to different cultures and different experiences. For me, I always wanted to be a musician and travel, so this was something that was really a big opportunity for me. Well, it's not your first time in Estonia and Tallinn. Do you have any fond memories of the last time or maybe since you've been here this year? Uh, I just remember the last time we we had a really horrible hotel room. <laughs> But uh, that's about it. I remember I, I was able to go to the old town, um, and that was really incredible, very beautiful, and it was warmer uh, one of the times that I came here. So it was nice to be able to see some of the touristic uh, sites because I, I know it's definitely one of the top places to come to in, uh, in Europe. So um, unknown places a lot for some people, um, especially in America. I mean, I don't know. Too many Americans have had the opportunity to come here. Um, but in general, I think it's a great place because of that. You know, it's really still not too overrun by tourists, and there are a lot of interesting history here. Well, uh, you've traveled a lot mm, around the world a lot of times, I think, and and you've seen the metal scenes of different countries. Uh, some people might uh, say that metal is dying out. <laughs> what do you th think about that? I, I don't see that at all. I think it's just expanding. You know, it's becoming bigger. I mean, this show tonight is sold out. Um, there's a lot of shows that we've played around the world that have just been incredible. You know, it's it's impossible to say that it's dying out. I think it's only becoming more diverse and more interesting in a lot of different ways. It may not be super popular like a trend or anything 
like that. But I think that's the appeal of it, why it still is able to survive. It's not a trend. It's something that's very enriched in people's, you know, soul and their blood. You know, it's something that they truly love. So it's something that will always be around. And, and like you said, traveling around the world, I've seen this in so many different places from India to Cuba, you know, to the Philippines, to to Africa, you know, everywhere, you know, it has this impact that it's very much alive. What's the most metal thing you've ever done? Oh, God, the most metal thing I've ever done. Where uh, I actually, um, the guys from Immortal, we played a festival with them and uh, we had them paint our faces with their, <laughs> with their paint. And so we played a show like that full, fully painted up with death metal uh, <laughs> paint, which was pretty fun. It was cool. You know, it was definitely something I never imagined. And I don't think the fans were imagining that, but that was something that was extremely metal. And yeah, then for the last thing, I would like to know that uh, what's what's the uh, deal with Sepul Sepultura in the future? Are you going to record a new album, anything new coming out? Yeah, I, the, the idea is to finish this year. Um, in December, we'll be done touring on the cycle of uh, our last album, The Mediator Between Head and Hands Must Be the Heart. So we'll start recording and start writing, actually writing ideas now on the road. And uh, we're going to start um, getting back in the studio in February, March, April, and all next year, just really work on the album and hopefully have a fall release date. Well, thank you for taking some time to talk with us and, and all the best for tonight and for the future as well. Thank you for having me. Yes.